Hello guys, peace of the Lord everyone. Uh, we will continue with the lies of miracles of the Quran. Uh, today, uh, our lies today is about, uh, the lie we will talk about, uh, the living miracle, the imperology. How God created babies according to Quran. Uh, you know, you will see Muslims uh, saying, we did ask a scientist, a doctor, and he was so impressed about how the Quran was able to find this knowledge but the scientist himself do he knew what the Quran even saying which mean did the scientist himself read the Quran or a translation of the Quran as the Muslims want him to see <laughs> you know what I mean because I can make any garbage book a miracle book by translating something is not exist there now let us hear together and let, let us show you how Muslims deceive others you know there's one of two ways I cannot be a scientist and I accept Quran teaching me or saying something really a miracle because it's very clear you don't need to be a doctor even but we will show you step by step you know all of us you know we are we are living in the in the world of uh, uh, internet you can get information very fast very easy right now you can go to Google Yahoo and you can get how God created babies how did the babies develop inside their, their mothers so it's not a secret anymore so let us see together what this guy is saying what is the miracle if there is a miracle really if there is a miracle I, will, I wanna believe in it but show me first what I see is a joke not a miracle let us let us hear together and please laugh with me into eight languages when we ask it professor moore to give us his analysis of the quranic verses and prophetic tradition ahadith he was amazed he wondered how the prophet muhammad 14 centuries ago I could describe the embryo and its development phase in such detail and accuracy which scientists have come to know only in the last 30 years. Very quickly, however, Professor Moore's amendment grew into admiration for this revelation and guidance. He introduced these views to intellectual and scientific circles. He even gave a lecture on the compatibility of modern embryology with the Quran and Sunnah. Now guys, let us hear this guy first and after that I will make my comment and you will laugh with me. Let us see. It has been a great pleasure for me to help clarify statements in the Quran about human development. It is clear to me that these statements must have come to Muhammad from God or Allah because almost all of this knowledge was not discovered, uh, discovered until many centuries later. This proves to me that Muhammad must have been a messenger of God or Allah. Consider what this well-known and respected scientist of embryology declares Well, this man first is not a scientist, you're a liar, he is just a doctor, as millions of doctors. Number two, I want to ask you why he didn't convert to Islam, if this is true. If he believed Muhammad, he is a messenger from God, why he did not convert to Islam? Number three, according to what he found out that the statement of the Quran is really from God, according to translation you give it to him, or because he was able to read the Quran in Arabic as we do? Let us see together and we will see not even a kid you can convince him that this is a miracle. This is actually full of mistakes. Let us see together. Surah 23 verse 14. Then we made the sperm into a clot. Guys, I don't know. English is my second language. But what I know that's clot mean a dead blood. Is that correct? Now, is it true that the sperm transferred to a dead blood? Number one. Mr. Doctor and Mr. Imam and Mr. whatever your name, 
You know, I know, everybody knows that sperm will not transfer to be anything, and especially not a dead blood. Secondly, the baby is not a dead blood, but dead blood is dead. The clot is a dead blood, it's not something alive. Into a clot of conquered blood. What does that mean? So this concrete blood is a dead blood. And this is Islamic translation. This is not my translation even. Look, this is the kingdom of Saudi Arabia. <laughs> this is the Quran uh, 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 dot Islam dot com official government Saudi website. It's not my translation. And this is what it says in Arabic, you know. So, if the Muslim saying that this is a sperm will turn to be a clot and this clot is concrete blood, which means it's a dead blood, how the dead blood will become a baby? This is very stupid thing to say. And first, I want to ask Muslims, where is the egg of the woman? Allah, he forgot the most important thing for the baby to exist. He's saying from here, the sperm will transfer to be a baby. What? Where is the egg? You are saying to me, this guy is a scientist and he forgot to mention and to ask your God, Allah, where is the egg exist? Do you see any egg in here? Read with me. This is the whole verse. Where is the egg? Where? The sperm will turn to be a baby. So you see, look look with me. The sperm into a clot of concrete blood. It's a dead blood. Then, of that clot, which was what? Which was a sperm. There is no egg. From that clot, we made photos. Lamp. Lamp. Then we made out of the lamp, bones. What thumb? What bones, man? So Allah, he created first bones. What, like, you know, uh, first it was a blood, then it was bones, then Allah, he covered it with, with, with the meat. This is a joke. If we go and see what is it says in the Bible, actually, we will see Muhammad is copying some of here from the Bible, but he is making it in a very funny way, very stupid way, because he is an ignorant. He don't know what he's talking about. Let us see. What is it, what this one is in here is saying? Now let us show you first from the Bible how Muhammad is trying to copy from the Bible, but he's trying, you know, the the, the each time he copy, you know, the thief expose himself and he make a big mistakes. This is uh, this is Job. This is the Bible, Job ten. Okay, and we will read. You can read it all. It's really fantastic to read it, but you can start from eight. And you will see in Job that he's saying that you know the way the God he made us, how he you know he created us, how he made me uh, uh, out as milk, you know, like uh, uh, you know for me I read my 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 uh, my Bible in Arabic, you know. Uh, it's really it's really amazing how the Bible is speaking about this but in the Quran you know I advise everybody to read uh, Job from 8 9 10 you know and uh, uh, 11 12 etc and you will see from where Muhammad is copying but he is not copying exactly he is a, he is just a liar trying to make a book and or, you know and because of his lies he's exposing himself now the video is almost going to be over let us continue so the God he made out of those cloth he made uh, bones and then from those bones he closed it with the flesh and then he uh, developed another creature so in the verse in here we will see the God forgot to mention the God of Islam not my God he's, he's, a, he's a Satan he forgot to mention the egg of the woman he made the cloth which is a dead blood as you see in here something alive which is, is, is very false 
and he said we made from the cloth the photos and which very something very stupid and he said again we made from the photos out of that we, we we made the bones and after that we covered the bones with the clothes which mean the flesh this is something very stupid to say use your brain and again I advise you to go and see what the Bible is saying about uh, 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 in, in Job from 8 read from 8 all the way to 14 eight, whatever you like you know and you will see in there how accurate is the God talking about creating the babies it's very very true and no science no science scientists can say this is not true so when they say the Quran is discovering that the Quran is making a very full statement only fit for stupid crazy mentally sick people thank you all Jesus is Lord